Hey YouTube, how you doing? We're going to be doing a Security Plus quiz. It's on the topic of threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities. It's just 10 simple questions that I'm hoping to review. This is for myself as well as whoever may use this to their advantage. So we're going to start with the first question. What term describes a virus that produces a different hash as it replicates through your network? We have a Trojan, a worm, a polymorphic virus, and malware. And the answer to that is a polymorphic virus. Quick questions. We're going to keep on moving with it. What term describes an agent attacking a high-level executive using a telephone and leaving them a voicemail? The options that we have are man-in-the-middle attack, vishing attack, phishing attack, or tailgating attack. So out of all the answers here, we have man in the middle attack, which is an interception attack. Phishing attack kind of sounds like what it should be. Tailgating attack is just something that's made up. But the actual answer is vishing attack. A vishing attack is a voice phishing attack. And that's the only difference between phishing and vishing. <laughs> so our next question is, what type of attack uses unsecured points of entry to subvert security and gain unauthorized access to a computer system? The questions that the excuse me, the answers that we have are a backdoor attack, tailgating attack, pretexting attack, shoulder surfing attack. And the answer to that is a backdoor attack. Moving on to the next question. What type of attack involves a person dressed as emergency personnel coming into your business reception and demanding an access to the server with you ultimately allowing it? Here we have emergency access attack, a social engineering urgency attack, baiting attack, or a scareware attack. And this situation is, it, it requires people. So, well, the answer is a social engineering urgency attack. It requires people and you're, you're creating a sense of urgency in the victim as the perpetrator. And this is why it's called a social engineering urgency attack. All right, what type of attack involves downloading a performance enhancing computer program that states that you have around 20,000 exploits and in order to clear them, you must purchase the full version. We have, from the choices, we have Trojan virus attack, crypto attack, rootkit attack, disguised ransomware attack. And the answer here is disguised ransomware attack. What happens is you'll download a program that purports to actually clean your system. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but it won't. All it's doing is, is trying to get you to buy the full version so you can give the person money. Oftentimes, these things don't even work. They might have some virus signatures in them, but more often than not, they don't work. All right, next question is, what type of attack cannot be detected by a NIPS, NIDS, firewall, or CM system, but can only be detected by using baselines? Here we have crimeware attack, SHA-256 attack, a zero day attack or spamware attack. Now, the only answer here that makes sense is a zero day attack, where you can only detect it using the baselines of a system. It's something new, it's something that doesn't have a signature already in some database that you can identify with. All right, so moving on to the next question. We have what type of threat allows the attacker to gain access to your computer system from a remote point, excuse me, remote point. We have a rat, we have SSH, we have SPIM, and we have the Zeus virus. Now, remote access requires something to be put onto your computer to allow for that sort of entry, or excuse me, access to another computer. and the only one on this list that does that is a RAT. It stands for Remote Access Trojan. 
All right, moving on to the next question. We have a hacker has managed to guess to gain access to your Bluetooth phone and has been able to steal your contact information. What type of attack is this? We have contact harvesting, blue snarfing, Wi-Fi looting, and war driving. Now this is this is one that I, I tend to struggle with because it, it sounds so funny to me. But the answer to this is blue snarfing. And that's when they take your contact information using Bluetooth. Obviously the question sort of explains it. Moving on to the next question. A hacker has managed to gain access to your Bluetooth phone and has been texting all your friends announcing that you are going to get married the next year. That is false. What type of attack is this? We have phishing, we have contact tracing, we have bluejacking, and we have war driving. Now, this is along the same lines of the previous question where you use Bluetooth. And the name kind of gives it away, but the answer is bluejacking, where you you try to interact with the information and contacts of a user once you actually retrieve it from their system, from their phone. All right, moving on to the next question here. What type of attack is an interception attack where the data is replayed immediately to the intended endpoint? We have man in the middle attack, whaling attack, spear phishing attack, authentication attack. Authentication attack is, is just a misleading term. Spear phishing attack refers to attacking a specific target. Whaling attack refers to attacking a high value target. And man in the middle attack is what we're looking for here. Where man in the middle attack is where you're, you, you set yourself up in the middle of two access or two endpoints. And then you hear or see and capture whatever data they might send to each other. It's kind of like listening in on a conversation. All right, well, that's everything for this small quiz. There's more quizzes like this if you'd like to take a look at my channel.